but in a place where you are wanting accuracy as your first priority that is where um, the extra time is appreciated or that is where the extra time doesn't matter I mean you could let the mesh run for an hour and then just come back and see it um, and that's fine but if you are just looking for a concept then we probably don't need that much accuracy and that is why the default mesh option on um, ANSYS Fluent is a very good one because it allows users to quickly um, qu quickly get over um, the mesh and just quickly um, and get um, some data to start processing so we are pretty close um, should be about um, should be quite close to completion but nonetheless um, as you can notice it has been about five minutes now um, since the model has been meshing so just to give you um, an idea about this um, about how much time it can take for a very simple geometry to be meshed with a very fine element it can take um, quite some time before the geometry um, can be meshed while we are on it I can show you some commands here we don't really need much um, um, to do here you've got file you've got edit in case you want to duplicate or copy and cut and paste options for your geometry in the view as I have said before in the video you can either see a wireframe structure which we are seeing now or you can see a solid structure under units different units metric and the US system for um, um, for radiation or for temperature option between degrees and radians as well and then you've got the tools and help button here you can see different options uh, in terms of node node is if you want to select a certain node element is if you want to select a cell or a face that's called an element this is the body which what we call a volume and then we can see the toggle bars um, around here okay so it's still meshing I'm wondering if it, ha it has failed the mesh I don't think that's the case otherwise it would have given a message saying that it has failed so technically the mesh has not failed the reason why it is taking this long is a because the element size is much more smaller but B because it is difficult to mesh areas between an overlapping circle and a square so that is where it is perhaps um, the software is taking more time um, to mesh um, that part I am waiting with you and I can see that um, the the mesh is taking um, quite some time maybe I should have just changed it from 7 to a 4 rather than from 7 to a 1 uh, but having said that it should be fairly I did not expect it to be this long um, um, it should have been fairly quick nonetheless it has not failed it's still running which means it's still bre breathing all we need to know is when it will finish it gives me some time to play around with the geometry got the X Y Z I'm still on the video I'm very tempted at the moment to stop this mesh and just go with the default model but I'm really wanting to challenge myself and see the extent of my patience and the extent of how long it actually takes to mesh a small element with a hexahedron mesh 
converting tri triangles to chords that's where the software um, is unable to do it quickly um, this is quite a new um, thing to me as well because I usually work with tetrahedron I am comfortable with using triangles um, I see no problem in the accuracy I usually see the results are what I expect um, hexahedron usually is considered to be more accurate but I personally don't really find much difference between hexahedron and between tetrahedrons in terms of its accuracy um, but to each their own and in my personal um, pre preference I would be very happy to be using triangles um, rather than forcing it to be um, chords especially in a situation where you have non square components so I can understand if you're just working through a square and if you're wanting to use hexahedron but it will be very likely that your geometry will not just have squares if you are simulating airfoil or if you're simulating a car or if you're simulating a bike or if you're simulating a wind turbine or if you are wanting to pass airflow through um, through a building or through windows not every time you would get square shapes only um, if you want to see an airflow around a tree um, that would be a non-square, non-structured shape and whenever you have a non-structured shape um, it is difficult to fit hexahedron each time so therefore um, I usually work with um, triangles ok right so we have seen quite clearly here that hexahedron on a circular part with a very f small element size is probably not the best way to go if you don't have a lot of time so what I would do is I would stop this uh, mesh and go back to our default uh, mesh unless you want to give it another minute which I rather would give another minute before I run out of patience and before uh, we can go back to where we were on the mesh a minute's silence still not completed still waiting and it would be a terrible shame to stop this now but I would be forced to stop it now because as we can see it has not meshed despite it being 10 minutes um, or close to 10 minutes so this should give you a message that hexahedron mesh with a very small finite element is probably only good if you have hours to spare so I would stop this one and it does say the meshing was stopped and it has not meshed but let me show you what has actually happened in this process if I go to pan and bring this close and if I zoom it what we have told the CFD is to make a very fine mesh around the circle so all its energy so far is uplifted around the circle itself and that is what was taking so long so in the last 10 minutes or so only the circle was meshed and if we check the nodes and elements now it is already 10,000 compared to the default mesh which had 2,000 elements and 2,000 nodes across the whole geometry 
but now we have got five times more elements and nodes only around the circle so imagine if this was multiplied around the whole geometry how much um, uh, more um, space and time it would take but nonetheless you can see the beauty of a fine mesh you can see that it's so fine now it looks looks beautiful looks much better than before but nonetheless uh, it takes too much time